converting recurring decimals into fractions. Now, we've got a recurring decimal here, 0 0.247. The dots are above the 4 and the 7. Okay, so if we were to write it, we'd call it N, and let's write it out fully. Um, so it'd be 0 0.247, 4, 7, 4, 7, 4, 7, as these two dots are above the 4 and the 7. What the idea with these is, is we want to get the recurring sequence immediately after the decimal point. So you can see the recurring sequence isn't quite there yet because we, it's not 247, 247, because we haven't got twos there. We want a 4747 starting immediately after that decimal point. So to do that, we've got to multiply by 10. So if we say 10n, multiplying this decimal by 10, is going to be 2.47. Four, seven, and so on. So now we've got the recurring sequence starting immediately after that decimal point. So we've got to find another multiple or, of 10 or, um, to find where the recurring decimal again starts immediately after the decimal point. If we were to times by a further 10, we do 7, 4, 7. That, that's not where it starts. We want it to start with a 4. So if we go to times by another 10, which is by 100, so 10 times 100 is 1,000, it's going to start at the 4, 7 again. So let's uh, demonstrate this. We're going to have 1,000 n. So in other words, I've timed this 10 by 1,000. So I can move the decimal point along twice. And that's going to be equal to 247.4747. So now I've actually got two... Um, sort of a raised powers of, of 10 here, the 10 and the 1,000, where that recurring sequence 4, 7 is starting immediately after the decimal point. What I can now do is I can subtract one from the other. So 10 take away, so let's write a subtract there, subtract, that's our stage there. So I've got my, take my 10 um, away from my 1,000 to give me 990. N, and that's equal to um, 247 take away 2. Because can you see, I'll show you in a minute, that's 245. So can you see now that the, because uh, you've got the same recurring sequence after the decimal point straight away, they'll knock each other out. So you're just left with 247 take away 2 to give you 245. So then you can express that as a fraction as n being 245 divided by 990. So the next stage then is um, we can have a look at cancelling it. I mean, they, they, both of those uh, will go into, into fives there. I will go into both of those. So uh, 2 twice 99 gives you 198 there on the bottom there, and that would be 49 over 198. It might go lower than that still, we can check with a calculator. But that's the idea, get your raw fraction and then do your best to cancel it. In fact, by our little go, two, four, five, uh, fraction pattern, nine, nine, zero, equals 49 over 198, we've cancelled fully. So you'd express it like that. Let's just do one more example then. So I've got 0 0.34 with the dots here. So here, the recurring sequence is already starting immediately after that decimal point. So I don't have to apply any jiggery-pokery here like changing by 10. I go straight now and look where it would happen again. If I bounce the decimal point once and twice, it would happen there. So I'd write it as 34.34343 and so on. And that is going to be 100 in, because I've, I've multiplied by 100, that's a decimal point twice. So now I've got my recurring um, sequence there. So now all I say is 99n, because I've got my 100n, taking my, my 1n, my n, which is 34 take away 0, remembering that now we've got recurring sequence identical after the decimal point, which is why we do it, we're just left with the numbers. And that's therefore equal to 34. And so n then equals 34 over 99, which doesn't have a common factor. And you just leave it as it is. So there you go. That's how you um, convert recurring decimals into fractions.